Welcome to another episode of Scrum Desk channel. In this episode we are going to demonstrate how to create a new project and uh, how to set up team. So as a first we will log in into Scrum Desk and we will select the project we are going to do. This project was created in previous episodes and we are going to configure this project. As a first we will enter project name We will enter the description of the project. This is just for information purposes for stakeholders or other team members. And we can enter the default sprint length. Typical sprint length is two weeks uh, in our company, so we can enter 10 working days. Uh, of course, uh, you can change it as you wish. This default sprint length is used when you will create any new sprint uh, in your during your project as a default value. Now let's enter home page. Home page is available to all team members um, easy by click on a home page menu item and typically this home page uh, contains information about projects and uh, documentation system. Scrum does also support to integrate web-based tracking system directly into Scrum Desk so we will enter for example Mantis backtracking system. This project could be private or could be public. A private project means that only team members will see this project listed in a dialog for selection of project. If this project is public, anyone who can connect to database using Scrum Desk uh, will see this project even if it is not listed as a team member. By click on this uh, rectangle you can select project default picture. So for example let's use some airplane or let's say this You can also attach some attachments describing your projects like documents, uh, contract or something like that uh, and to have them available for all team members. Now let's create our team. By default I am the only one person as I created this project. My role is by default Scrum Master. Now I can add new team members by pressing on plus button and Scrum Desk will display you all users available in your database entered by Scrum Desk Administrator. So I will add both guys and let's change a role. In Scrum you can have typical roles as a Scrum Master or Product Owner. We added as well as a team member we distinguish between developer and testers however they have the similar possibilities to use Scrum Desk. The only difference is a visitor role. Team member who is a visitor he is able to see everything what is in the project but he is not able to change anything. So let's say that George will be product owner and James will be our developer. This list allows you to search team members. You can remove them and select them. Displays online status as well. So you can easy track in case that your team is distributed if your team member 
is available and using Scrum Desk. Now let's create some teams. Scrum Desk allows you to, to use concept of multi-level complex teams and uh, we will start with default team which is for example project team you can assign a picture to it you can also describe this team uh, for simplicity just create this now let's create some sub team which will be for example <coughs> responsible for design and let's create another team which will be development to assign people to teams you can do just drag and drop so let's say that George will be responsible for design and I and James we will be responsible for development of the website not everyone needs to be listed in a team team members who are part of the project but are not part of any team will be listed in the left side of this window you can also change view to grid to see team members listed in a table when you can change the role and you can also change the sub team in which team member is assigned thank you very much this was the next episode of scrum desk how to use